2.8. Book of the Moon, Jackless Mother Festo by Atul Conde. A doctor in large hospital walks into an operating theater where an operation was being performed. Everything seems to be going well. The doctor notices that no one was wearing a face mask. To her surprise, wearing a face mask is basic hospital procedure. They didn't say anything. The operation was a success, but a few days later, the patient came down with a fever. It turns out she had serious infection, probably because the doctor's analysis hadn't followed the simple rule. If they won't have masked, the patient will be infected. Someone who'd be interested in that story is Ethel Gondi, who wrote a book called Checklist Manifesto, How to Get Things Right. Gondi was a doctor himself, and in his book he would suggest that if someone is warm for the simple checklist before every operation, then life will be saved. And he thought the numbers to prove it. In 2001, at an important American hospital, there was an experiment that required doctors to use a five-point checklist before they carried out specific procedures. Checklist was just a list of routines being so to shoot normal do without thinking. For example, wearing rubber gloves, washing hands before and after every patient and so on. By making sure the checklist was followed, there were almost no infections out of the 27 months of the experience. And we reckon there were around 8 lives were saved. When checklist was tested again in hospitals in Michigan, USA, Infection went down by 66%. In his book, Gone the Lexus of the Professions too, he supports the argument that checklists reduce accidents and improve success rates. He points out people like engineers and pilots who use checklists all the time, and he comes up with some good examples. Just imagine the number one crashed because pilots had failed to follow basic procedures. Suppose the skyscraper fell down. Because the engineers hadn't remembered to do some important calculations, they would be immediately quarry to come to these events. So, when this question is, the pilots and engineers use checklists, why don't doctors use them? But when going they talk to doctors at eight hospitals about checklists that they develop, they found lots of them weren't very enthusiastic. 20% of the doctors that go on they talk to said that the list was too difficult to use. And they would help to save lives. When I show in the statement, if I had surgery, I'm certain to use this list. 93% of the same doctors agreed with it. So it's hard to work out why they don't want to use it themselves. The checklist one first so is a really interesting and well written book. It reminds us to do the basic thing thing to avoid problems. It's all for all this, not just for doctors. We should always use the checklist now and again. Otherwise, we'll make mistakes.